Here our problem says that it wants to suppose that $2,000 is loaned at a rate of 13% compounded semi-annually. Assuming that no payments are made, find the amount owed after four years. So this is just a compound interest word problem. We need to circle our important information. So we start with a $2,000 loan and our interest rate is 13% and it's compounded semi-annually, which is two times a year. Assuming no payments are made, how long or how much is going to be owed after four years is what we're looking at. So we're just going to use our compound interest formula, which is the total amount that will be owed after four years is going to equal to our initial principal, the initial amount of the loan, which is P. And we can, we can label these over here if we wanted to do that first. So A is going to be the total amount. And then we have our P, our, our initial principal, which is 2,000. And then our interest rate, or our rate, is going to be 13%, which if we write it in decimal form, which is what we need to use whenever we're using this formula, we move the decimal two places back it would be 0.13. We see it's compounded semi-annually, which is the number of times per year will be two times. And then how, after how long our time is going to be four years. So our uh, compound interest formula looks as follows. The um, total amount is equal to the principal times one plus or minus the rate in decimal form over the number of years it's compounded, all raised to the number of years, or the number of times it's compounded, and the number of years. So we'll go ahead and fill in this. Um, just fill in for the variables here. This is equal to 2,000, which was our initial amount. And it will be increasing because it, they will be charging us interest. So it's going to be 1 plus our rate, which is going to be 0.13 over the number of times it's compounded, which is twice a year, semi-annually. And then, again, raised to the two, compounded two times per year, and then the number of years is four. So these two will be multiplied together, n times t, or two times four. So this is going to be simplified down to 2,000 times. This is going to be equal to 0.13 divided by two is going to be equal to 0 0.065, and when you add that to one, it would be one, point zero six five and then two times four is eight so when one point zero six five is raised to the eighth following order of operations we take care of our exponents first and then we multiply it by two thousand our final answer will be three thousand three hundred nine point nine nine approximately this is the final amount that will be owed if it's thirteen percent interest and compounded semi-annually